Hey, what up guys, it's Woody, and today I'm going to show you how to put one of those themes that I make all the time on to your Xbox. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but fuck it, whatever. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, there's two things you're going to need. You're going to need, I use Horizon, which is the modding tool to get it onto the Xbox, and you're going to need a USB also to put it onto your Xbox. The USB, the only standard is it has to be at least one gigabyte for the USB. Don't buy the Xbox USBs. Uh, buy a five dollar USB at Walmart. Okay, I got one for like seven bucks. It's like four gigabytes, and that's what I use. Um, I suggest making a whole profile just to put on your USB. Okay, that way nothing gets ruined on your actual profile you're using. Okay. Um, what we're gonna do is you can't be signed into the other profile you're gonna put on the USB. All right. So this is my live account. We're gonna go over here, configure the USB. Okay. First thing you gotta do if it's not an Xbox USB, go down to storage. And it'll say, I think it says USB. Mine's already configured, as you can see. But when you click on it, it'll be, I think it's blank. It says configure USB. Click configure USB. It'll tell you, okay, it meets requirements. Or it doesn't if it's not a 1 gig. It has to be a 1 gig or higher, okay? So as soon as it's configured, you'll get this little screen right here. Okay, back out of that. You're going to go to the hard drive. Go to the profile, gamer profiles, that you're going to put on the USB. I'm going to put the like the video gamer profile on my USB. Now I usually just use one for everything, okay? So just make one to put on your USB and keep on it, alright? I'm going to move it. Go to the memory unit, select the memory unit, and it's going to move it to the USB, okay? You can see it's gone from my hard drive, and it is now on my memory unit, like the video, okay? And that's all we have to do here right now. We're going to cut back over to the PC and I'm going to show you how to do the the horizon part all right and get the theme on the USB okay so we'll see you there all right what up guys we're back at the computer you can see I have two things here I have horizon and I have the picture I want to use as my theme okay that I've made um, horizon is the modding tool you're going to need okay you can download it for free I'll put the link in the description below and it's really easy to use you'll see in a minute um, I already got it open just to save time after you download it open you'll get this right here is Horizon okay um, if you got your USB in or you're putting it in you will get this after you do okay and it's a device explorer you can see you got the profile that you moved to the USB right here okay but we're not gonna need that right now we're gonna minimize that what we're gonna do on Horizon is we're gonna go to tools we're gonna go to theme creator okay and this is how I do it it might be different Xbox changes their fucking dashboard every now and then like they do now and I don't need I don't know if you need to put all of them in here but I do just to be safe so try it out see what works I guess this is how I do it if you want to go with me just go with me we're gonna open the picture right here and put it in here just load image go to the dishonored picture I just put it in everyone just to be safe because they changed their shit and I don't know I haven't really tried it since then on just one you probably only need the main menu like I said go ahead and try it out and see what works okay and you can name the theme we'll name it dishonor and this changes that little bottom part of the let the part that says underneath the what do you call it the little slide thingies I don't fucking know technical terms but it'll change the color um, I've never actually got this to work let's see if it works we'll turn it black instead of gray Okay, we'll see if that works, I guess. And you're gonna save it as. Oh, I just save it the same thing, save it back to my desktop. And you come up with a different file right here in a second. And that's the file we're gonna use, okay? So close that. God, it's slow as hell. Why is it so slow? Okay. It says your thing was successfully created or whatever, created successfully. Close that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rehash and resign. So drag that file into here. And click on this a few times. I usually click it on uh, click on it about three or four times. So and you'll hear a little beep. It'll say saved, rehashed, and resigned. So that's usually enough. So you can close that, and all it did was save, rehash, and resign this file again. Okay, so it wrote over it. Now you're gonna pull up the Device Explorer. Do 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 do, and themes. As you can see, we have nothing in the themes. Uh, you can either drag this in. As you can see here, ugh, right there. Sorry, I'm using a laptop, guys, so I gotta slide my hand across the pad. Or, what I do, just to be safe, inject the file into it. 
That's probably the easiest way. I don't know. Whatever. And you're going to pull this file. And you'll see the following packages were successfully transferred to the flash drive. Dishonored. Remember, don't save the picture. You're going to save this file, okay? So that's all we need for that. Um, if you want, you can actually do this. Close that out. Close that out. And we're going to head back over to the Xbox right now and put that on there. Alright guys, we're back at the Xbox and we're going to put our theme on the actual Xbox now, okay? So what we're going to do is go back over to... Oh, my controller turned off. Hold on a second. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go back over to settings. Go to system. Go down to storage. Go to memory unit. And we're going to go all the way down to themes. You can see our profiles on here. Okay, that's the profile. Go to themes. And it says dishonor theme, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to move it to the hard drive. You don't have to if you don't want to. I do this just so it's on the hard drive and I can keep my USB clean. And there we go is that. And this works for Xbox Live. It will not mess up your Xbox Live account. Okay, I've done it so many times. So that's empty. And this way we can go. I'll sign into my Xbox Live account just to show you guys, all right? I'll sign out of this one. And sign in to my Xbox Live account. Okay. Alright, and what we're going to do, see we're on Xbox Live, showing all the ads and stuff. Go over to social, whoops, go to your guy, your avatar, and then we're going to go to change theme. And it should be on here, right here. Dishonor. You can see that's it. Click on it. And see, you didn't change the bottom black. I don't know how to do that, so whatever. But here's your dishonor theme. Okay, so back out of that. You can see it looks pretty fucking sweet. Right? So there you go. And of course, the Bing thing. Oh, well, that's how you do it, guys. Uh, and that's about it. You can do it for everyone you want. Make themes, whatever. Um, I got the template. If you want the template, um, I will put that up too. So. Go ahead and click, like, subscribe, do whatever. That's about it. Woody out. Peace.